Okay, so we're asked to take a definite integral here. It says find the definite integral of 1 over x minus 2 evaluated from 3 to 7. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use u substitution here and just say let u equal uh, x minus 2. Um, the u dx is equal to 1, therefore du is equal to dx and vice versa. Oh, this should say dx here. Apologize. All right. So just starting our work here. I'm just going to rewrite this now as of 1 over u du. And as soon as I see this, I recognize this is ln. People uh, have asked me, well, what if, what if you try to integrate it this? What if you bring it up as u to the negative 1? Well, if you tried to integrate that, right, it would equal u to the negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 plus 1. It would be 1 over 0, wouldn't it? Is that a good answer there? That 1 over 0, which is, of course, undefined. So that would stop me. Here, I recognize this as an ln problem. So what I'm taking now is this. I'm reading this as ln of u as evaluated evaluated from 3 to 7 then I'm going to resubstitute in u so we have right so from here I'm going to go to this I think and say that this is ln of x minus 2 because that was now this is me resubstituting for u as evaluated from 3 to 7 here. So remember we want, we're going to use fundamental theorem of calculus here, and we're going to do f of b minus f of a, right? So f of b, right, f of b is f of 7 minus f of 3. So that looks like ln of 7, right? minus 2. So there's this minus 2 here, right? Minus ln of 3. So it's 3, and it says our function is minus 2 here. So minus 2. And look at this for a second. We get ln of 7 minus 2 is ln of 5. So we have ln of 5 minus ln of one, keeping in mind that ln is log base e, and we want log base e of one, log base e of one to equal something. Well, ask yourself, e to what power equals one? So we can actually evaluate ln of one, and ln of one has a numerical value of zero, right? So it's zero. So ln of five minus ln of one is ln of five. So the area here is ln of 5. Alright? Makes sense.